Listexamptamine is a central nervous system, CNS, stimulant used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and moderate to severe eating disorders. In this video, let's find found. What is listexamptamine? What is listexamptamine used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking listexamptamine? How does listexamptamine work? How to use listexamptamine? What is listexamptamine? Listexamptamine, most commonly sold under the brand name Vivance and Elvance among others, is a stimulant medication that is used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder in children and adults and for moderate to severe binge eating disorder in adults. Listexamptamine is taken by Listexamptamine was approved for medical use in the United States in 2007. In 2020, it was the 85th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States, with more than 8 million prescriptions. It is a Class B controlled substance in the United Kingdom and a Schedule II controlled substance in the United States. What is listexamptamine used for? For the treatment of attention deficit slash hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and for moderate to severe binge eating disorder in adults. This drug is not indicated for weight loss. Use of other sympathomimetic drugs for weight loss is associated with serious cardiovascular effects. The safety and effectiveness of this drug for the treatment of obesity have not yet been determined. Contraindication Pharmaceutical listexamptamine is contraindicated in patients with hypersensitivity to amphetamine products or any of the formulation's inactive ingredients. It is also contraindicated in patients who have used a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, MAOI, within the last 14 days. Amphetamine products are contraindicated by the United States Food and Drug Administration, USFDA, in people with a history of drug abuse, heart disease, or severe agitation or anxiety, or in those currently experiencing arteriosclerosis, glaucoma, hyperthyroidism, or severe hypertension. However, European Consensus Statement on Adult ADHD noted that stimulants do not worsen substance misuse in adults with ADHD and comorbid substance use disorder and should not be avoided in these individuals. Side Effects Products containing listexamptamine have a comparable drug safety profile to those containing amphetamine. The major side effects of listexamptamine in short-term clinical trials, greater than or equal to 5% incidence, have included decreased appetite, insomnia, dry mouth, weight loss, ability, upper abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, increased heart rate, anxiety, dizziness, and feeling jittery. Rates of side effects may vary in adults, adolescents, and children. Rare but serious side effects of listexamptamine may include mania, sudden car death in those with underlying heart problems, stimulant psychosis, and serotonin syndrome. Pharmacodynamic Listexamptamine dimesylate is a prodrug of D-amphetamine. Amphetamines are non-catecholamine sympathomimetic amines with CNS-stimulating properties. This agent works primarily by inducing the release of the neurotransmitters dopamine and norepinephrine from their storage areas in presynaptic nerve terminals. Both of these transmitters contribute to alertness, increased concentration, in addition to effort and motivation. Mechanism of Action Listexamptamine is a prodrug of dextroamphetamine. The active form of this drug blocks the reuptake of norepinephrine and dopamine into the presynaptic neuron and increases the release of these monoamines into the extraneuronal space. The parent drug, listexamptamine, does not bind sites for the reuptake of norepinephrine and dopamine in vitro. The mechanism of therapeutic action in attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, is not fully understood. Amphetamines have been recently found to target the trace amine-associated receptor 1, TAAR1, which was recently discovered. This may explain some of its effects on extraneuronal space. Ultimately, the ability of this agent to increase synaptic concentrations of the catecholamine neurotransmitters noradrenaline and dopamine in the prefrontal cortex, PFC, and in the striatum, results in several behavioral changes. Half-Life 
The mean plasma elimination half-life of dextroamphetamine was about 12 hours after oral administration of listexamptamine dimesylate. The plasma elimination half-life of listexamptamine alone averaged less than one hour in studies of listexamptamine dimesylate administered in volunteer subjects. 9174. Dose. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder Starting Slash Switching Treatment, 30 mg, POQAM Dose Adjustment, Increase by 10 to 20 mg, Slash Day Increments, Approximately Q-Week Not to Exceed 70 mg Q-Day Binge Eating Order Indicated for Moderate to Severe Binge Eating Disorder, Bed, in Adults Starting Dose, 30 mg per day PO, Then Target Dose Titrate in increments of 20 mg at one-week intervals to achieve the recommended target dose of 50 to 70 mg slash day. Exceed 70 mg per day. Discontinue if bed does not improve. Dosage modifications. Renal impairment. GFR 15 to less than 30 ml slash min slash 1.73 m superscript 2, not to exceed 50 mg per day. End stable disease, GFR, less than 15 ml, slash min, slash 1.73 m, superscript 2, not to exceed 30 mg per day. Co-administration with drugs that alter urinary pH. Agents that alter urinary pH can impact urinary excretion and alter blood love amphetamine. Acidifying agents, for example, ascorbic acid, decrease blood levels, while alkalinizing agents, for example, Sodium bicarbonate, increase blood levels. Adjust list examptamine dosage accordingly. Safety advice. Pregnancy category C, reproduction studies of list examptamine have not been performed. That's all the information about list examptamine we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.